All right, Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly horoscope for April 13th through the 19th. My name is Athen. So we have a new moon taking place this week here on Saturday. We have some important transits involving your ruler, Jupiter. Uh, well, one actually in particular. And um, yeah, a lot of the shifting into Aries. So uh, there's been a lot of energy in Pisces and there's been very transformative time back in uh, March and the early part of April last week here. And so now things are dying down. We're in the third quarter phase coming into this week and then going towards the new moon me means it's a time of relaxation, of rest, of reflecting on things, of going into the more spiritual elements of life, reflecting on matters and thinking about where we want to head for the new lunar cycle, which for you is going to be in that fifth house. That new moon will be in that fifth, which is about your fun, your enjoyment, your zest for life, creativity, your passion, all these uh, fifth house related things, basically anything that puts a smile on your face. So that all starts here on Monday when we come into this week in the third quarter phase, which is still very energetic. So on Monday, we have Mars sextiling up to Neptune. And so there's a lot of ideals and visions that perhaps you've had about your communications, teaching, writing, sharing. And so pursue them, especially the weekend leading into this Monday. Uh, because you have an opportunity here to put a lot of this self-expression into writing or sharing or communicating or learning or teaching in some way. So that will be definitely supportive for you and um, that can be a very good beginning to the week. Now on Tuesday the sun goes into the fifth so this can be very passionate, very uh, self-expressive, very creative time for you now for the next 30 days uh, in particular and that's what you guys have been very motivated by with Mars in that fifth house anyway. So very good uh, passion, could be romantic, could be anything relating to, again, anything that you enjoy out of life. Now, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have Venus opposing up to Saturn. So the balancing act here um, is involving your sixth house and your twelfth house. So you've had Venus in your sixth, which is hopefully you guys have been enjoying the health, the diet, the routine, the regiments, um, with Venus recently going into your sixth here last week. So continue to enjoy the day-to-day -day stuff or the health or whatever it is you're involved with or maybe developing crafts too could be a side of that also. Just make sure you're balancing that with a lot of the serious stuff going on with your spirituality because Saturn in your 12th is, and he's retrograde, so you guys have been reflecting on uh, very seriously your spirituality and how you can ground your spirituality, make it into a practical thing, make it very real. And by spirituality, I really just mean the no thingness. It's your uh, stillness, your inner stillness, your tran tranquility. That's what the 12th house is. So, But it does take that disciplined approach because wherever Saturn comes around, it's that time of the whole 30-year cycle for you to get serious in that particular area of life. So for you, it's the um, 12th house. So balancing that, balancing basically your spiritual stuff, relaxation, rest with a lot of the day-to-day um, -day stuff that you're involved with um, will be the key there Tuesday and Wednesday. If you can find that middle path, realize that we can have that spirituality in the day-to-day -day and vice versa, then you'll get the most out of it. Thursday through Sunday, we've got Mars squaring up to your ruler Jupiter. So first of all, you guys have had Jupiter in your eighth house recently go station direct last week. So last week here with Jupiter station and this week he's gaining momentum. And this is gaining momentum about your eighth house. This is about the deeper elements of life, your bonds, your connections. You have a lot of opportunities here now continuing where it may have been more introverted since December. Now it's becoming more extroverted where you're going to see for the next few months a lot of opportunities to get deeper with relationships, to, get commit, uh, to have commitments, to uh, get deeper with your work, get deeper with your philosophy, share the truth. Jupiter in the eighth house really loves to share the truth, esoteric information, the truth about life and all this type of stuff. So um, do that and, and that's going to be a very supportive energy. But with a square from Mars, what that's saying is just make sure that you are um, doing it in moderation because there's a lot of optimism. I think a lot of optimism too about this creative stuff or self-expression that you're going to be involved with this week, which is fantastic. Just make sure you keep it within a balance because the new moon energy, like I was saying, this, this energy of this uh, lunar cycle is a time of more of an inner reflection, thinking about things, not so much about taking action. I mean, there's a lot of Aries energy and if you were doing things that are creative or whatever you're involved with, by all means, we always take action in life, don't we? But do it in a way where you are uh, being willing to adapt and change, to learn in the whole experience, and just treat it that way. Treat it as something that um, you're rediscovering and learning within yourself. Then on Saturday, you have that new moon there, so this next 30 days, 
you'll have this um, you know new beginning involving your creativity, fun, expression, joy for life. So that's very fantastic. And I think on Saturday, really reflect on that. Now on Sunday, Venus is squaring Neptune, Mercury sextiling Neptune, and Venus trying the North Node. So on this day in particular, just watch any over-idealization involving your communications again, or teaching or learning or anything you're involved with in that third house. Keep it nice and grounded. Um, you'll be getting the most out of it that way, but you are very supported in a lot of this uh, self-expression, okay, because you have this intuition about you on Sunday. So that's very good. And remember, too, that this day um, you are very supported with your life path, which this whole year is about your 10th house. North Node's been transiting your 10th house all year, and so this is a time for you to, and you may not feel this personally, but you're gonna, you'll are gonna you notice through action and choices that there's openings here for you to, <clears throat> excuse me, for you to get more involved with work, career, or anything on that public related level. So certainly channel in that positive energy there this weekend. All right, Sagittarius, have a fantastic time. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please get in touch if you'd like a personal reading, and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.